Hello, this is me teaching you how to install Windows 95. Uh, it's pretty simple if you know what to do. So, what you will need is a uh, Windows 95 boot disk. Now, yes, I know it says Windows 98, but I put Windows 95 on here. So that's what you will need at first. Secondly, you will need a Windows Protection Error Fixer or Patch. So you can use that if it's having problems with the protection error and stuff. And here's your setup disk, which is most important. Because without a setup disk, you can't run Windows. So what you want to do, do first is put in your disk. And what you want to do next is turn on the computer. And it should load. So it's booting from a floppy. It saw it. As you can see, the light's on. And it's making all these fuzzy noises. Okay, so what you want to do now is type in FDisk. I'll just go up to it so you can see it. See? FDisk. Now what you want to do is press enter. And it should load the FDisk program. And you should give this message if you have a disk larger than 2 gigabytes. And Mine has 80 gigabytes, so yeah. So what you want to do is press Y and press Enter. Okay, so what you want to do now is press Enter, Enter, and it that should count up. It'll just take some time, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, when it's done, it should give you this message and press Y and Hinder, uh, hit Hinder and it's on again I have no idea why but I'll see you later okay it should give you this message after the Ferrari thing or whatever so what you want to do is press escape and press control or delete but which will restart your computer so you press control or delete and that should restart Leave your disk in there, so I can boot from it again. device named banana. That's so silly. Don't know why they called it that. Okay, so now it's in the DOS prompt. Since you made your petition, just to test it, you can type in C colon, which is going to be the drive, and it exists. It's there. And now, once when you type in a directory listing, it will say that. But don't worry, this is completely fine. There's a way to get around that, so you press abort, and then go back to A. Oh. So go to A. Ah, I keep doing that. There we are. So what you want to do now is type in format 
C. When you format the drive, this will allow uh, Windows or MS-DOS to view the drive. It's like having a present and then when you format the present, you get rid of the wrapping. It's kind of like that. So, type in format C, colon, like that, and press enter. And it shall format. It'll give you this formatting. Warning, all data, whatever. So, proceed with the format. Type Y and enter. And that will count up very, very slowly since I have an 80 gigabyte. So, I'll be back when it's done. Okay? Okay, so the format is complete. It took me like 10 to 15 minutes to do. Okay, so the format is complete. You can't quick format it. I tried before and it failed on me. <coughs> so the volume, it, uh, it's asking you to type in the volume label. I don't want a volume label, so we'll just press enter. And now you are now ready to install Windows 95. So get your disk and open up the disk drive. Okay. Put your CD in. Okay, so what you want to do now is type in R colon. Uh, this is very, very strange. I have no idea why they did that. They should have just called it D instead of R. <laughs> very strange. So type in R colon, as I showed you, and press enter. And now you want to do is type in setup. Right there. And press enter and it will do a routine check press enter hits Microsoft scan disk okay here we are and here we are so click continue here's the license agreement just press yes Press next. This is the default directory right there. Press next. Uh, I'll go typical for those people who don't really know how to do stuff. Well, you can, you can do a custom setup, but I'll go typical. Okay, this is where you need your product key. Uh, so what you want to do is type in your product key. So uh, go there. Okay. Okay. Now that's done. Type in your name. I just type in mine. It's kind of Windows 3.1 style. Uh, so you check the both of them and press next. And this is a very long part, so I'll stop the con so I'll stop the recording and see you when it's done. Okay, it's almost done. And here we are. So Windows components, I'll just install the most common ones. And then press next. You can have a startup disk if you want to, but I don't want one, so just press no and next. Okay, it's installing Windows 25. I burnt mine on a DVD instead of a CD, that's why it's incredibly fast. And yeah, you must be a fast reader. <laughs> to read all that on a DVD. Oh, 
Am I stunned? Okay, so finishing setup, remove any disks from the drives, okay, take out your floppy, or just boot from there, so yeah, take that away, uh, keep the CD-ROM in the drive, otherwise you're screwed and Windows won't boot, so click finish. Yes, one thing, I'll just spam F8, I'll go in command prompt only, and this is the part to install the protection error thing, so I'll slip it in, and I type A, and I go fix 95 CPU, right there, press enter and press, an, press any key to continue and it's doing it which is good And it's done. So take out the disk and put it somewhere and restart the computer so that you can do it. And he's been there's only five. Okay, so now it works, which is amazing. It's amazing how Windows 25 works in a modern machine designed for Windows XP. And it's doing this item directory copying things and it should give you a time zone but I live in GMT 10 which is Australia and it will ask you to install a printer but I'll do that later okay setup as it is, is finished press ok to restart have no disk in there or just boot Uh, I'm just trying to turn it. This happens quite a bit. It's very annoying. Uh, I guess I have to restart. Maybe I need another monitor or something. Yes, I know. As to the scan disk, since I did a improper shutdown. I wish monitors can just stay on instead of doing that sleep mode thing. What's the point of the sleep mode thing anyway? Okay, here we are. So he's been that twenty-five. And yeah, he's my favorite background. Oh man, that's so amazing.
And yeah, welcome to Windows 25. Just do a couple of things. And there's videos about Weezer. I don't have any sound because there's no sound driver. But you can install your drivers for Windows 25 to work. And yeah. So welcome to Windows 25 and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.